Hi all. So welcome to my channel. I am an in incoming PhD student at University of Wisconsin Medicine in Microbiology, and for fall 2023. And uh, so here I today I am with a new video, and uh, today I will discuss how to uh, approach uh, professors uh, by cold emails. Uh, so uh, as I have discussed in my last videos uh, in my PhD abroad series, like how to uh, search for the professors who with whom maybe you are interested on your research field, and also. Uh, how to search the universities and how to make a CV curriculum vita. Uh, so now you have to reach out to the professors uh, with whom you, maybe you are interested uh, to work on. And uh, for that, uh, you can connect with several ways with the professors like LinkedIn uh, or the Twitter. But uh, the the most more professional the most professional way to connect with the professors is via cold email, and uh, which is uh, the most of the time it works actually. Uh, like uh, so, cold email is actually just you have to write an email uh, with uh, with by introducing yourself and uh, make sure it will be very very, very brief and also you have to attach a cv curriculum video and it is the more uh, more of the thing uh, most of the thing so i today i will show how i have uh, i was doing at my application phase uh, how i wrote those emails and uh, i will show a template of my uh, email and uh, stay tuned for that and uh, these emails you can uh, send uh, to professors uh, for asking for uh, research internships opportunities uh, phd vacancies if, if they, they have uh, some uh, something uh, and also like project assistantship opportunities uh, so uh, in many ways you can write these emails and approach to them okay so today uh, here i am going to show the mail which i was doing at my application uh, phase and this is uh, one of the mail template so here uh, the subject line can be like a query pertaining to doctor position or the internship position or project assistant position what you are willing to do and then like you can uh, go directly to the subject if i go to directly to the subject uh, to the introduction part like uh, here of course you have to mention the professor name and then you can introduce yourself like uh, very brief introduction like i am uh, this name and then i am working as a project assistant or the position which you are right now in and or uh, if you are studying uh, like bachelor's or master's you can of course that also can mention that i am studying this or you i have just graduated uh, with this master's degree from this university like that uh, and if you're working then mention like that and then directly i have came into like the research project i was doing uh, in my time and uh, or if you have already finished some research project of course that also you can mention or uh, like here uh, i have shown like in a very brief manner like how what is the main aim of my project like my career kind of focuses on the finding the role of psychic dmp in antibody resistance and persistence so like that and then uh, this work has been recently published by the paper so the paper name and the hyperlink of that uh, paper uh, if it is available on online okay so if it is publicly available mention that mm, review paper or the paper name of course and then uh, also I, I have mentioned some other projects uh, which i was doing at that time like i have also studied uh, blah 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 and then i am also doing yeah, like this you can mention like your research expertise little bit as much as possible uh, and of course there is a mm, cv is attached but still and uh, i am very much interested uh, on your work and now you have to mention uh, like the personalized thing will be from here like the the lab uh, in which we are applying uh, so uh, or checking if there is some vacancy you have to thoroughly uh, study that lab website like uh, in what uh, project they are working on right and then you can write like understanding the now uh, what they are working on you know like understanding the pathogens that everybody is just about in better in my content regulations and then you can of course elaborate more uh, on that field like you can uh, mention uh, i have also read one paper of uh, about this work and it was really fascinating uh, and uh, so like that you can a little bit elaborate but not that much uh, it should be in a brief uh, manner the total whole uh, paragraph and uh, as a more personalized you can make it uh, it's more good for you uh, but personalization uh, takes time right uh, so and then uh, the conclusion part like i believe i will be able to positively able to positively contribute to the lab environment as i possess uh, how much experience you have you can mention it uh, if you have like more than five or six months of wo work experience of course you can make or you should mention it mm, and uh, like in what expertise you have and also like i have attached a uh, curriculum data if you are attaching some other transcripts uh, if it is mentioned in the lab website or the admission portal like whenever you are uh, mailing to the professor uh, check the transcript um, like attach the transcript also so then you of course you should mention like a copy of curriculum and transcript uh, for the in-depth uh, expansion of my current research skills and 
Then uh, you can uh, query about like I want to inquire whether you have a potential PhD position in your lab or like internship position or something. Uh, so I uh, I will be appreciate uh, if you can give an interview opportunity with you to discuss my application uh, further. Right. Uh, and then uh, of course you can finish this mail and uh, so this. Uh, only the this sky uh, line marks uh, lines you have to change every time and other than that the, the things in the introduction conclusion can be similar uh, that's not a big issue okay and uh, and uh, do maintain the total length of the mail uh, in a very brief as uh, it is some um, the first thing they will check not the cv they will check first right uh, so they will uh, read the mail so if it is a very big mail they don't have time to read uh, it okay uh, so uh, make it precise the only the significant things you can mention not everything right and uh, like don't mention those things like i am a big achiever uh like i uh, i really like science everyone knows like if you are uh, willing for a doctor position or internship of course you are live, loving science right if this is not a four class four thing so that's why like only the significant things you should mention not uh, if you don't have any things to mention don't mention it okay uh, do the mail after some time after you gather some research experience right uh, and if you are for internship just you have masters uh, that's oh, okay uh, that's enough uh, that's fine uh, whatever you have done uh, that's fine because they most of the time they take pressures as an internship so not a big issue there okay so this is the mail uh, and now i will go to the part what type of responses i have got uh, so here i have shown like three responses like these are some negative or i will say like neutral mm, responses from the professors and uh, here you can see like oh, i'm sorry but kindly don't have any position uh, lab position or thank you very much for your application uh, your profile is nicely fit to the research group however i moment at the moment i do not have any phd position available so most of the time like whenever you are applying like uh, if you are applying for 75 applications or 75 mails you are doing so like uh, you will get 25 of responses right or half uh, less assume like 30 responses and within that just um, maybe five of them will be like very good positive responses and others will be like this only like uh, they don't have uh, vacancy or uh, this year they are not uh, taking so like that and then uh, also this thing like um, as a faculty do not accept the uh, student directly so like usa and US canada there is most of the universities uh, take students not like the directly admit uh, cannot be possible in the labs so professors uh, in their hand they does not have any power uh, to take um and but uh, if they are mentioning like uh, i of course i will be happy to have you rotate in my lab if you get selected then it's good like uh, in the application procedure there is a statement of purpose right so in the sop like statement of purpose you can mention uh, hard or his name uh, if they are uh, willing to take you after selection so you can mention like uh, this person i have already talked with in, in the sop and uh, when never the admission committee will review your sop uh, they will uh, able to know like oh already uh, this person have talked with our faculty so then uh, we can uh, forward this SOP too hard also if he, if she or he is willing to take this student. So like that it works uh, sometimes, right? Mm, so so that's why like uh, in my, most of the mails don't uh, go goes in a waste, right? So whatever responses you are having, you are getting uh, like the more clear and clear uh, about the university or something like how many professors uh, you will be able to get if you are uh, getting selected into that program also, right? And uh, these are some like positive responses uh, here I have attached uh, like only few of them was there uh, like uh, uh, thank you for uh, showing this uh, interest in your lab in our lab and uh, we do have opening for new graduate student next year since we still have sort of time like uh, are we available uh, for interview in a, in, like after some time so like that um, they <coughs> mentioned since I like if they're mentioning like I would strongly encourage to you to submit your application uh, then it is like very very good responses okay and uh, if there is some uh, interview opportunities they have to meet with this professor then it's a very good uh, thing they can maybe they can take you before on the admission also okay uh, so like the direct admit can happen uh, so this type of response like um, like here is also the same thing like the time to speak via zoom and that's good and then uh, this type of responses I will also say as a positive like uh, yes my lab will have space for new students in the next academic year mm, uh, like uh, like that like you can apply to the phd program uh, please apply so these are some uh, good responses right uh, so that's why how much the mail more you will mail you will you can get good responses so now i want to share some tips uh, like and a uh, few things you of course you should keep in remember if you are applying for phd and uh, so in many universities uh, you need to check uh, the lab websites of the professors or in the admission uh, profile admission section of the 
uh, university uh, like uh, especially in the USA or Canada when there is the application is like more of a general approach and the university uh, based thing not a uh, professor based thing right the most of the uh, PhD in uh, opportunities comes with the university application not by directly mailing them okay uh, so uh, that's why you should to check you, you need to check like uh, whether they have written something they mentioned in the lab website so in many universities it is written they don't need to send any email uh, and uh, you can directly apply uh, to the university admission portal whenever the application goes online the second thing is attaching the only the curriculum beta with the main don't attach any other things uh, except if they have uh, mentioned something in their websites or in the university website so i have seen in many uh, canadian universities like it is written uh, in the bold like whenever you are approaching to professors uh, uh, give attach also uh, the transcript uh, of the bsc or msc or any academic uh, degree you have uh, so they, if that is uh, mentioned then only you can attach with the cv try to send the mail uh, with your institution email id or the like the microsoft 365 or the outlook email id if you have if your institution uh, provides that thing uh, if uh, you cannot uh, then of course uh, you have only option with the gmail or you have mail id and uh, because I am saying because I know like most of the Indian institutions they don't provide it and uh, if you can manage it uh, then it will reduce your spamness because most of the email goes uh, into spam folder and uh, they might forget uh, to check that folder and also don't forget to follow up uh, with them if they, you cannot get any responses within a two weeks or one month uh, do follow up uh, with them if uh, maybe uh, they are busy at that time and now they can respond to you and if you have not seen my this video the previous video uh, on my channel where i have uh, already uh, discussed about uh, like how to uh, search the professors and how much responses you can accept uh, uh, like expect uh, from the email cold emails how much it will work the probability is very less as uh, most of the professors will tell uh, i don't have grant or something and also maybe they will not respond or spamness is there so that's why uh, always uh, try to uh, reach out to more and more professors of course with personalized emails not uh, spamming them and uh, so like that you have to uh, take approach because uh, maybe it will be little bit uh, demotivated you will be uh, like demotivated uh, quickly if you are not getting any responses uh, but uh, try to remember that you will, uh, of course some professors will uh, be able to connect with you and uh, will be show uh, some interest on your profile so last but not the least thing is don't copy paste uh, the email who exactly which I have shown here. Of course, it is not possible, but still, uh, you, it, it was just a template. And uh, be creative and be defined from others as uh, to, you have to stay in the competition. Thank you for watching this video. I uh, hope it will be helpful uh, in your application journey. And uh, subscribe my channel and uh, hit a like if you like this video. And uh, do comment on the section. Uh, what do you want to see from me for the for the next time uh, and bye bye